Rachel and Daniel here from Mango Street, and today we're talking about one of the most important things you can learn to do as a photographer, storytelling. There are two main ways to capture story through your photos. One is by capturing moments as they organically happen around you. We do this all the time at weddings. The other is by conceptualizing and executing an idea that inspires you. We're gonna be focusing on the second one today. First, we wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring this channel. They help make it possible for us to continue making content for you guys every week. In case you don't know by now, they have beautiful award-winning designer templates. They also have beautiful award-winning 24-7 customer support. And it's an all-in-one platform, so there's nothing to upgrade or install ever. It's what I use for my site. It's what Rachel uses for hers. It's what Carlton will use for his if he had thumbs and a credit card. And it's what we use for Mango Streets as well. So to try it out, go to squarespace.com slash Mango Street and enter the code Mango Street at checkout to save 10%. Can we have our money now? You can get inspiration from literally anywhere. A color, a time period, a book, a movie, a song, you get the idea. If you're the kind of person who has trouble finding inspiration, a good way to do this is spend some time alone away from your electronic devices. Take a long shower, go for a walk or a jog, and keep a notebook with you, and write down anything that inspires you, moves you, or makes you feel something. Alternatively, you can save photos that inspire you and create mood boards. The concept of today's shoot is coming from the lyrics and the mood of the song Honey Magnolia by Brian Fallon, because of course. Again, you don't have to choose a song, but music is an easy inspiration for us. In the song, there are two competing perspectives of a broken relationship. We're gonna use one model to represent both perspectives of this relationship. The first is weak and sentimental. To indicate this, we'll ask the model to sometimes cover her face in these shots. Well, can you put your hair over your face? We'll also ask her to bend her limbs and be hunched. This will give the feeling of brokenness. Okay, and then again, just kind of like broken and droopy. Yes. Okay, can I get you like curled up, like kind of like fetal position, like with your head facing over here? Yeah, just like laying on your side kind of. The second character is strong and heartless. To represent this perspective, we'll ask the model to be bold and to fearlessly look down the barrel of the lens. And go ahead and like run your hand through your hair, like but still keeping that really stone cold man eater expression. <laughs> and then just get like a little bit meaner. Just... Okay. <laughs> we'll also get low and shoot up at her to make her appear stronger and more powerful. When you're telling a story through a photo, it's important to consider every part. The environment you're shooting in, the colors, the wardrobe, the model, etc. We chose the location for the shoot because it works perfectly for the two moods we're trying to convey. The fact that it's a loft makes it feel like we're peering into the personal home of this character. It's also white with concrete floors, and that gives it a cold feeling which works great for both characters as well. We chose two different outfits for both of the characters represented. For the weak and heartbroken character, we chose an oversized white dress shirt. Its oversized nature makes the model appear smaller. The fact that it's white also provokes a feeling of innocence. And the dress shirt itself alludes to the point that it belonged to an old boyfriend. For the second character's outfit, we chose something bold to match the character's personality. The color of the overalls gives it an edgier vibe, and the metallic silver of the shoes and shirt help add to that. Here's a look at some of the photos we captured. In a dream I had, I watched her dance in a field, blood on the sun dries in a ponytail.
Recap. One, find your inspiration. Two, select a model who can convey your idea and direct him or her. Three, choose a location and wardrobe that help tell your story. Four, go shoot. We hope this helps you take your photos to the next level. If you implement any of these tips, use the hashtag MangoStreetStories so we can take a look. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next week.